Hello, Nana here. Welcome back to Grim Dawn. Last episode, we did some solving of some of the quests in the lower area, and of course, we discovered the Burbage Village. But this episode, I still want to find the caravan driver and hopefully kill some of these flash warp mutants. And I have good reason to believe we have to go to around. The foggy bank area. So that's between here and the city itself. So it should be somewhere in the general vicinity. So let's uh, scout around a bit. And we were very close to leveling up, and well, now we actually did. So that's a nice way to start. Okay, so last time we unlocked the Hellhound, which is a very nice pet. Good boosted damage, quite a bit. Because <coughs> its standard attack is only 5 to 12 damage with 3 extra fire. Uh, we can boost that to 10 to 18 with 7 fire. And all its total damage will also go up, which is. Uh, Pretty neat. And let's see, for the next level, we can bump it even further. 15 to 24 with another 12. And then maybe in parallel also boost our big mean brighter thorn a bit. That's going to do serious damage then. Yeah. Right. So that means we resummon our hellhound, we resummon our brighter thorn. And they should be meaner and leaner than ever before. I think from here on out I'll just uh, spend one point on just leveling each of the of the classes. And then in addition to that... Hey, lots worn. I don't know them. Sorry, I'll just try this. Again. Getting distracted in this game, which is, I guess, it's a good thing. But one point in each uh, of the classes, and then I'll level up one separate skill, which is probably going to be uh, one of the summoning classes. Just trying to uh, boost them a bit. Okay, I don't remember seeing Bloodsworn ever before. Are they uh, a known faction? No, they're not. Interesting. We still have a bit undiscovered over here. Got a chill. Let's look at these pets just race through the lands. Okay, there's a. See a little bit of map over there. Admire champion. There is some stuff here, but it's not the full caravan, unfortunately. Okay. Hey, there's something here. I rolled the corpse, okay. That's just the corpse. Too bad for the person that's used to use that corpse. Well, they're quite dead now. Okay, I'm fascinated by what's over there. There's no indication what would be a logical entry point. I wonder if it's just a bit of terrain that's generated to, to serve as a scenic backdrop with a bit of a hill. And that the automatic map generator or something generated that, even though it's not accessible. Very possible. Is there 
is a, a track going past here. So it would be a, a logical location, so to say. Would be a logical location for it to be uh, ambushed. Those are also Bloodsworn. I wonder if the, the Bloodsworn are something related to one of the quests I solved that they now suddenly just pop up on the map as a direct result of that. Okay, so we've now explored this bit of the map, then there's a bit unexplored over there. There's a wagon of sorts over there. Not really getting the impression that there's a, a, a living merchant still there. So and, uh, let's see, let's uh, go to the bottom. Just backtrack the road. So I'm going to white mire here, that's then probably not it. Okay, so we're diverging too much from the road, because basically so far we've explored a lot of the road already. Hmm. Okay, so there's a bit unexplored over there. Yeah, but it's also still a bit to the left here. It's the slightly annoying part that I've played this game often enough to actually know where all the quests are. So I actually still have to scout. This was the... Could have been related to that one, I'm not sure. Let's uh, have a check. Is this a known cave or is this a new cave? This is a known cave. Okay, now we can go back out. We can head to the west because we haven't explored that yet. Things over there, people even. Let's have a look over there. Okay, we took that one out. All we need is a way to actually get over there. Travel a dangerous path, stranger. This solitary refuge is one of the few places left in the White Mire. If you plan to set out on the road again, perhaps there is a way that we could help one another. So what might that be? Well, the Slith are unnatural creatures and poison the land itself, so it seems only fitting that we should turn some of their vile magic against them. The shamans carry bone necklaces, primitive things, but they carry primal power within them. I can weave this power into something more potent for you. To bring me a few of their necklaces and say a hundred iron bits to aid us in return. I will fashion for you a magical ring. What say you? Well, will this, uh, these necklaces suffice? <laughs> I already have a ton of them. And we get a nice green ring. That's good. Extra damage against beast skin. Bunch of extra energy regen, elemental resistance. That's nice. Okay. Ah, yes. There's raw power in these bones. Am I... Deft old hands will weave it into something more potent yet. I will have the, fi the finished rings for you shortly. Well, thank you, sir. I want another one. Yeah. Oh. Let's see, you're the first to find this in a long while. 
You're welcome to warm yourself out of fire, but when you leave, I ask that you keep this place a secret. Well, I can do that. As long as you don't bring violence to this place, you're welcome to return. Let's see any wisdom for the road ahead. First traveler was Rowan. Nah, a bit of lore, whatever. Okay. Uh, later old timer. I don't really care about your lore too much, mister. Okay, so, sell some one-handers. Uh, we have a bunch of... Crafting mod stuff. Let's see. Combine some items. This is another one that's not full. What is it? Eternally encased in black ice. It can be used in rings. Oh, let's just have that. We just got ourselves a new ring. So this is definitely better, right? Yeah, the other one is only half a point of health we generated. That's not too much. So what do we get from this one? Extra health, 70 health, 21% reduction in freeze duration. That's also pretty cool. Get cold enemies and it increases regeneration by another 8%. So let's uh, apply that to our ring. So, this is a pretty nice boost. Okay, equipped. Let's see, what was the other thing? The better shell. Ah. Oh, that's for shields. Okay, I don't actually use shields. Okay, so this was not a caravan, but then again, this is pretty far off of the road, so that makes sense. Let's uh, portal back. Let's see the... So from here and then just work away northwards. Or rather, let's explore this part. But then, I still like this 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 part of the game that it's just just wander around a bit, looking for one. Hey, this car is looks recent. You're looking for one side quest and you find something completely unrelated. As a matriarch. Hurting the briar thorn a bit. Luckily, Doc Raven can patch him up. Let's uh, do this in a more thorough manner, just clear it from bottom to top. Oh, there's uh, boxes over here. But that's all the rest of it. Bugs over here, but no caravans. Powder, and push all the other ones. Wow, that stone altar contained a lot of things. And I'm picking up a lot of white items, let's not do that either. Let's see, yet more. Parts that I complete. Let's see this one. It boosts rings and amulets. That's good. This one is once again weapons and offense. Let's see extra physical damage, uh, offensive ability, and fire resistance. Now let's apply that to our amulets. So we get stronger every day. Let me just follow the. the Outskirts of this level, see where it leads us. Hey, there's something over there. Hey, look, a prisoner comes for help. Let's uh, first clear all the things before we unleash them, because not quite sure if they will get caught in the crossfire or not. And I'd rather not risk it. Hey. You. Go down. I think this whole. Look, another monster on the other side. Deal is not good. I just keep getting thrown away. There's always more stuff to kill. Let's see, loot to graves. Thank goodness someone came. Those slip. They attacked my caravan and I killed my guards. 
I think the only reason they left me alive was so that they could have me fresh later. Those bastards! Well, I'm from Devil's Crossing. I can get you help. I can help you get back there. Ah, don't kid yourself. Look at this blood. I'm not going to be able to walk out of here. Appreciate your thoughts, but it might be better to just end it quick. Well, you probably won't like this, mister, but I can open the rift for you. Well, the last thing I want is my legs to stay on this side while the rest of me goes back. But you're not giving me any any alternatives, are you? Send me off then. <laughs> Pretty sure this is safe. Well, I use it all the time. So, that's the... Apparently that's the mister we came for. Got carried off a little bit. Hey, that's uh, oh, there's uh, a rock here over there. Hey, let's uh, go back to town and see what he has to say and what a use he is for us. Oh, looks like a new merchant. Thanks for saving me behind the back there. Oh, saving my behind the back there. Turns out not all rifts mean bad business. I've gone ahead and set up shop. Let me know if you need anything. Well, he's resourceful. Didn't have anything when he sent him through and now he has a full shop. That's a, that's a nice magic trick. Turning something or nothing into something. Uh, let's see, this is worse than what we got. Good. Hey, but now we have a second merchant. That's good. Means more. Potential items to buy. Oh, and ribbons. This is a pretty decent ribbon. Got some offensive ability, defensive ability. So offensive ability loosely translates to the to hit chance. And uh, crit chance. And defensive ability does the reverse. It prevents enemies from hitting or critting you. So that's uh, that's nice to have as well. For the rest, yeah, this is just. Uh, too low level still, I think. Okay. okay. Oh, sorry, reputation, but uh, that was crossing. Okay, we need 150 more points and then they uh, tolerate us. Or friendly us. And then we actually get access to the faction vendor, which will be a useful thing. Let's see, how are we for time? Oh, I think we got some time still. Let's see if we can uh, kill some more of the, of the things. Let's explore a little bit. Last time we came to town and we more or less directly went back. Now we have an army as well. Corpse dust, that's a new type of control. Oh, the raven is heavily on the fire, probably want to make it a bit heard here for the future. Over here, over here. On the other hand, these are pretty tight confines, so it's hard for the raven to seek some distance and, and not get attacked. I wonder if I can actually get the, the Briar Thorn to get some uh, sort of taunt skill. Okay, this is blocked off. That's also very useful. Let's see, this is just... Uh, this is a better helmet. That's nice. a bit, let's uh, keep pushing through the houses on this side and then head to the northwest. Door over here, also useful. If 
haven't been here? No, we haven't. That's a level 18 crystal. Also, the easiest way to heal the raven is to just re summon one. Flash warps. Okay, something's bombarding uh, from over there. Ah, burning zombies. Pretty dead. Let's uh, selectively target those. Rotten Ember card, Fire Breath, of course they got. Here we got poison throwers, also very fun. At least the, the, the zombies get pretty... They get less standard pretty quickly. I see that as a good thing. Uh, wait, I was hoping there was a, a door on the other side. Apparently there was not. Let's see, a fury. are all level 16, what's my level? 15. Okay, so I'm fighting slightly above my level here. Oh well, eventually you'll catch up. That's positive. Oh, can get into the house here. There's not a lot in the house though. Some crates in the back. Can't get there from here, so whatever. It's way too quiet for my taste. Okay, just back into the into the fields. Some bad things over there. Drobos. Snake land. Is that a healing beam? Yeah, that's a healing beam. So who's healing? Which doctor? Okay. Sorry, doc, but you're the prime target now. Can't have you healing our enemies. There is. Oh, no, this is just an untouched meal. Okay. Vermin. Hey, there's a, a diary in there. That's a free experience. I really like that you can just stack the vines down and put a, a wind devil on top just a 
the heck out of animation if you need it. Okay, let's uh, double back to the to the house here. Alice just died. So what's the Let's move on. Ah, carrier raptors. Some sort of sonic attacks. But no more flash bulb movements either. That's not quite my idea. So let's uh, go back to town. Well, the. Burbage Village, I mean. Let's see what. So we've done a clear there, there, there. Let's uh, check out that uh, corner. We need only four more, so if they are there, that's very convenient. Then we can get on and we get a new quest from the client. Dusty Lectern, Cultist Orders. Seems useful. The Brothers of the Blood. The ethereal presence in Burbage grows stronger with each passing day. We are shifting our operations beyond the city limits where we may proceed with our plans undisturbed. Our focus now turns upon Devil's Crossing where our newest agent, Dureni, has successfully sabotaged their water pump. Soon that irksome group will be forced to flee their sanctuary and then they shall be at our mercy. Ready yourselves, brothers. Soon we shall drink of their blood. Signed by Salazar, Blade of Katon. That seems some, like something that's uh, useful to confront someone with a, a certain a Dereni. Okay, that's, uh, that, go, that will be the, the last thing for the day. How will they respond to accusations? Also very stupid that he actually wrote now down the name of their agent. Come see what's left of my wares. We can sell some of the things we're not using. Uh, so put that one there. See you around. Okay. Hello, Danny. You're looking to start problems? Best be on your way. Oh, I found this curious note in Burwich. It mentions you by name. Uh okay. I won't believe anything it says. It's slander! Well, explain yourself. Now, I know this doesn't look good for me, but hold that weapon of yours and check a second, eh? Yes, I sabotaged the water pump, but I had my reasons. You see, I was a prisoner here back when this place still served as an actual prison. When the world went down the slith hole, I stayed here with a few others. It was the safest place I could think of. Clearly, Bourbon thought the same when he showed up with the rest of the survivors. Things escalated quickly. I'm sure it was us who fired first, but it was them that fired the last. Those prisoners that survived were driven out and set free, so to say. Now, call me a coward for all I care, but I hit with when the fighting got ugly. I came out later, looking like another refugee and no one was the wiser. Never could forgive Bourbon for what he did to us, though. I missed the part where you don't deserve to die. Alright, right, I'm getting to that. The cult of Katon. Not a bunch of people you want to cross, obsessed with the blood of some fallen god. Or maybe it's just blood in general. They may be even offer. I sabotage the water pump. I get safe haven at their hideout. Get back a bourbon, find a new home. Two birds with one stone, as they say. Well, continue. Well, it wasn't until I attended one of their underground meetings that I realized I was mixing with the wrong crowd. And believe me, I've been affiliated with some pretty twisted individuals before. Ran out of there before they were done with the first initiate. You don't want to know what that entails. I do have one of their keys though. The prize for their mistake I made. Let's make a delay. You don't breathe a word of this to Bourbon and I give you my key along with directions to their lair. That seems interesting. 
should be plenty of stolen belongings there, ripe for the taking, for the likes of you. Don't try anything funny though, keep that key well hidden, don't want to raise any suspicions now. Okay, so judgment call. Do we hand him over? Or not? On the other hand, I don't know him, I haven't actually worked with him, and I'm trying to get to Bourbon's good graces and if I make a deal with him I'm not saying anything to Bourbon so that's not good die traitor die and uh, the letter I got will absolve me from killing someone in the middle of town without anyone actually lifting a finger okay now it's a good time to talk to Mr. Bourbon so now, what's with all the commotion? Well, Durani was sabotaging us. He damaged the well pump. Okay, so he's a bit upset. I trusted that son of a slave. Thank you for uncovering this betrayal. Who knows what other damage he could have caused if left to his devices. I do what I can. And we get reputation with the town. We get the blood of Katon. Okay, that's a resource type. That's only slightly disturbing. Well, the upside is we just... Okay, so the Cotonians are now a faction. Cronley's gang is a faction. The Rovers are a neutral faction. They are located in Old Arcovia, which we had to go for explosives, if I remember correctly. But we are now friendly with Devil's Crossing, which is good. Let's see, do we get access to the bounty table? No, we don't. But there was this guy here, the, the quartermaster, who now will sell us the first rank of uh, items. And that will be either oil, that's a, a defensive boost, or slift blood tincture, which also seems sort, sort of boost, but not overly powerful. It's from the next level that we can get access to some pretty good gear. So, okay, well that, that's uh, that's very much long enough for an episode. I think I actually ran over half an hour here. So, as usual, I thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.